Now, stop being pedantic. It's just a few bumps. Good morning, Thomas. Keeping busy, I'm sure. Oh, hello, Edward. Where have you been lately? Well, the director has been requesting for motive power in the past few days, and I've been finishing up with that harbour on the west side of the island. I must admit, though, it does have a lot of coffee pot engines working around it. Does that mean I won't ever leave the yards? Not necessarily. Think of it as your time will come, sort of thing. Now then, what have you been up to? Well, I got to go back to Barra yesterday. But I had interactions with that temporary Highland engine, though. Oh, pay him no mind. He'll be gone when that new Atlantic arrives. Although the director didn't seem happy with how the workshop sounded. Rather sketchy, if anything. Not an official place, then, is it? I have no idea where it is. All they are saying is that he'll be dropped off at Barrow or Bickerstown once completed. You talk as if it's the end of the world, Edward. I must admit it isn't wise to buy off a third party, especially in these times, but everyone is desperate for money. Always with the stoic tone, eh, Eagle? I'm just saying, there have been a fair few, um, <clears throat> flaws that have come out of the war, but some places are choosing to do more than rectify it. And all of this have been rather worrying, to tell you the truth. Whatever do you mean? You know the Great Northern Railway? I've heard of it. But why? Is this about what that Gresley fellow is putting together? Aye, or rather similar. He's doing almost the impossible. Have you seen any of the posters for the GNR? Honestly, I never look at posters. Rather silly, but do serve a purpose. I mean, you never know. You might get covered in them one day and become a bumping billboard! <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sight. But it's not just them. The Great Western is upping their game too. Something doesn't feel all that right, honestly. The way they're labelling it is as if there'll be another war already. Hmm, I doubt it. No one is in any position to start another one. Ah, well. At least we'll be prepared this time round. Well, hopefully. Do you really think that it'll all happen again? To be completely honest with you, I have no idea. Eagle has always been a bit of a thinker. It's not that it's a bad thing. I heard that. I understand that. Goodness! If that's the time, then I should be going. Look, I'll talk to you tonight, but keep your steam up and I'll have another story for you. Really? Thank you, Edward. Though, what about this time? Hmm, about an old friend who helped me out a bit of a jam. She was red in kind, but you might meet her soon. But I hope that doesn't divert your attention to the story. No, no. Please, tell me later, Edward. Very well. Goodbye, Thomas. See you tonight. Well, time to get back to work. Thank you.